In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we represent colour images using the PPM file format. So our, our image structure looks a bit like this now, our file structure looks a bit like this. So we have P3 at the top here. So this is our magic number, as before. We have a comment here. We have the dimensions of our image, which is 4 by 4 We have 15 here, which represents the number of different colours we're going to have. And for each pixel, we now have three different values representing the value of red, green, and blue. So this, these three numbers here represent our most top left hand pixel and represents a single pixel. And these three values here represent bottom right hand pixel. So as I said, these values can range between 0 and 15. So let's just have a quick look at some common colours to try and achieve some common colours. So we can have a look at that now. So for instance, if we want to get the colour red, we set the red value to be 15, the green and the blue to be 0. If we want green, we set green to 15 and red and blue to be 0. If we want to use some of the combinations of these, for instance, if we just want white, all, all three, red, green and blue, have to be set to 15. If we want yellow, we need red and green set to 15 and blue set to 0. So we can get pretty much any colour that we want based on different combinations and different values we give to the red, green and blue colours. So we go back to our image here. So the first value here represents the red, second value represents the green and the third represents the blue. So in this first example here they're all zeros so therefore they're all going to be black. This one here 15, 0, 15. So we look back at our table 15, 0, 15. That's going to be magenta. So let's just actually have a look to see what this image image displays. So we're going to open it up again in Photoshop. So just double click on it. Open up. It's going to be very tiny, so we have to zoom right in on it. You can barely see it. You can barely see it. So we need to zoom right in just to you can see that. And you can see we have well most mostly black pixels, but we also have a couple of magenta and a couple of green pixels within that. But you can play around with that and create different kinds of pictures and images and icons as you as you wish.